What is going on guys? It's Michelle bringing you another gameplay, another commentary. What what bitches? Booyah! So I'm pretty shocked right now because I just watched a um, a mini strip video from a female gamer. Um, I'm not going to say who it is or provide any information that's going to give that video any more views because I think that's crap and I definitely don't support any of that. So with the title being You Are What You Eat? Question mark. This video, this commentary is going to be about gaming reps, basically, and the point of my, um, I guess, uh, point of view or perspective or whatever is going to be you. You are responsible for your image. I see a lot of things, you know, um, on Twitter, just following tweets and looking. It seems that there's not debate, but um, well, maybe it is debate. I don't know about what. I guess how certain AMs or girls or people who you know are striving for uh, partnerships with their channels, YouTube channels and whatnot, how they're representing themselves and I guess the going back and forth about you can't do this because it makes us look bad. That whole perspective and you know pros get flack for acting a certain way, so everyone thinks pros are snobby. You know the girl gamers get their flack because being girl gamers and the image that is. I guess uh, perceived by them and whatnot. So, I thought I would just give my little bit of input, just uh, five points that I have, to uh, just to, on the subject matter, basically that uh, you are what you eat, you represent yourself, if you your actions define you, blah blah blah, that whole type of thing. So, number one, your image. No one can affect it but you. Um, this is in reference to like other girl gamers or like how uh, pros handle themselves, whether or not they utilize their social networking abilities or whatnot to communicate with their fans and uh, sub bases and things like that. Your image is your responsibility. How you portray yourself online, pictures you post, videos you post, tweets that you make, sub tweets, all that kind of stuff, that's, per that's viewed by endless amounts of people, not just the people that follow you, because unless your shit's on private or whatever, everyone can see that, you know, and I think a lot of people forget that, but um, how you behave, what you do, that is what creates your image, creates your rep, if you will. You are responsible for that, because if it's not true, or if there isn't visible images or things like that, that people are accusing you of sending nudes or whatever it is, um, you're not responsible for any of that because none of that's true. You know, you can only prove things to a certain degree, but you know, even responding to a troll tweet in a certain manner makes you look a certain way. Starting arguments or heavy debates on subject matter that you're not handling objectively, you're more saying a strong opinion and being offensive about it, that, that puts you in a certain category, you know, how people perceive you, what you're related to. It's like, oh, that person's trouble. They're, they're involved in this kind of drama, if you will. That's all, that's all on you. You can't blame anybody else for these things except yourself. I mean, that's how it is in real life. You know, your work ethic is how you are. If you're late all the time, you're going to get known as someone who's never on time. So, I mean, it's the same thing with this, too. People just see what they see, and very rarely do they give the opportunity, especially with the younger um, age group involved in gaming. They see what they see, and they don't put extra thought or consideration or sympathy into certain situations. They just see what they see, and that's what it is. It's gospel. So remember that whenever you're uh, typing angrily or taking a sexy pic of yourself and going, I'm going to make this my twit pic because my tits look great. Yeah, you think about that first. Remember who's watching you. Number two, be aware of yourself. How you act in a game, you know, how you act on your online sites. I already touched on the uh, social networking aspect of this, but um, how you behave, you know, in a game. How, are you a rager? Are you someone who constantly complains? Are you, you know, a lone wolf? Are you, are, do you just have this all around aura of negativity that surrounds you whenever you're scrimming or playing with people that, you know, you basically wind your way or finally got an opportunity to play with, like someone who's more known or a pro player even. Some fun um, streamed scrims online with pub players, I mean pro players. You see them always tweet that stuff out, you know, playing with followers, stuff like that. You know, if you act like an asshole when you get that opportunity, you're going to be perceived as an asshole, you know, and I see a lot of pro players complaining about um, stream joiners and things like that. If you're going to be a prick and do something like that, don't expect that you're going to get any type of other opportunities because, you know, they get it a lot, but if you make enough of an impact, your name will be remembered, you know, things like that. And if you keep carrying on that way, it's just, you just, it's never going to go away. That, that notoriety is just going to hang with you like fucking herpes. 
All right, number three. Decide what some of your goals are. Not, you know, not just now, not being like, you know, um, I want to learn MLG. Okay, well, once you learn MLG, think about what you want later. After you learn how to play MLG Variant Rules, say if you're, you know, like how I was. I was really bored being a pub star, and I wanted to learn something different, make a game more fun. I learned how to play competitively, you know, what the rules were and stuff. And but I didn't have any goals past that. I didn't know what else to do. What you know? Am I going to go on and try to you know make top sixteen in an MLG event, or am I going to? Am I better at commentating? You know, what are your strengths and weaknesses and things like that? You need to if if gaming is something that you're really serious about or something that you're into, you need to figure out what direction you want to take it because there are very there are a lot of um, different aspects and opportunities involved in gaming other than just playing. So that's something that you need to set for yourself too. You need to figure out for yourself. Um, and remember when you're doing these goals, everything that I said before this, how you want to be perceived and your reputation, that all has to carry along with it because it takes a lot of work to undo a misconception of you. If it is a misconception and it's actual how you were perceived by the community, it's going to be really hard to um, take the community's mind off of that without some diligent effort and some, uh, what's it called? Some genuine actions, actually. Alright, uh, number four. Remember, who you think your audience is are not the only ones seeing or watching what you do online. You may not be followed by some of these big names in gaming, these companies, but, you know, you may hit them up one day wanting something from them, credit sponsor, um, products, representation, or whatever. Um, it's very easy to go back and look at somebody's profile and see what kind of person they are, you know, how they handle themselves publicly, things like that. You don't know if they're doing that. It's very common for people in the job industry these days to check out your Facebook, you know? That's, so anything you put on Facebook, you know, pictures, uh, partying last night, drinking, smoking, whatever it is that you're doing, you put that on Facebook, um, they can look at that. As well as schools, for some of you people looking and going to colleges, colleges can look at that too. If you link that you go to a certain school, all of your information is available for a school to look at your, your, your profile. That is true. I mean, I have none of that stuff on my Facebook profile because I don't want anybody to know anything about that if it's not relating. That's why my Twitter, for example, is only for gaming. I don't have anybody on there in any other aspect of my life because it's not related. So. It's a way to be aware of yourself online too because there's it's very easy to be found out if you will. So just remember that not only do your followers, subscribers see what you do, hear what you say, and see the pictures that you post, other people see it too. People that you might care about down the long run once you decide what your long term goals will be in gaming. And even any aspect, if your long term goal is to be a model and stuff, you want to watch yourself with that. And the last one is don't think you can act a fool and then hit up these companies expecting them to give you anything. Because, like I said, by uh, tip number four, they're watching. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you watching. Leave us some feedback on your uh, opinions. Bye.